Hello, Assalamu alaikum and welcome to the channel. Now, this is a topic that I wanted to do since maybe last week. But then I was busy, so I couldn't do it. But the queen died yesterday. So, and there were lots of mixed emotion around this. You know, I googled, well, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. But I googled about like the queen and there was this reference that she might be related to the prophet Muhammad that she might be related in some way to the prophet and I was like I don't know like people will always make so many kind of weird connections even though I had no idea how that could have happened but maybe maybe not but she died i don't want to get into politics or this oh my goodness people are wow and then i saw this i i, I don't know if it's no it's not me then i saw this picture of charles the yeah the son that is now the king so i saw the picture and <laughs> nigerians and then the picture has like a little girl. You should see so many comments about this. The for sure a little girl. <laughs> the little girl of the UK, of the Europe. But anyway, yeah, that's beside the point. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm standing today and I feel like, I think it's pretty good if you actually do a, some content videos while standing. I feel that it can be a little bit um active like i've always i've always actually wanted to try this but i've never even like gotten a chance to but actually the time and the the time just came today and i was like you know what let's grab this opportunity it might not come because if you're actually sitting down doing content videos i feel like you get more lazy <laughs> i don't know that's what i feel but anyway i'm standing up doing this talking in front of my camera but anyways so you know there have been so much mixed I don't not even mixed emotion there's been so much negativities and bad talks and bullying and you know all those relational bullying and all those with Meghan Markle and you know sometimes I go online and I see a lot of like bad talks like sometimes you go you watch a video about her and gosh all the comments are just attacking her like calling her narcissist and all those like she takes advantage of people I mean I don't know her personally and whether true or not I don't know but I felt like the hate was just so much how much can a single person take imagine like gosh like YouTube comments that can be very funny very supportive very loving sometimes you go to some videos about her that they were just maybe talking about something recent that she did and dang that's a lot for one person I mean personally I think that was just so much for one person no matter what they do or no matter what they say and she said that somebody told her that her marrying into the royal family is like the same when Nelson Mandela was gained freedom from the prison was released from the prison I think something around that line and something around that line if somebody said to me that Oh, I look like I don't know if somebody's don't tell me that I look like some really famous person that I've went through that I've been part of like a credible struggle or a credible thing that's like uplift so many people I think I'll be happy that they see that distinction in me like I'll feel like elated like oh wow somebody thinks that I'm actually like 
this or like this person you know when people compare you to good things you feel good but they told her like during the lion kings i think it was during the lion kings premiere or something or so i mean it was maybe it was about probably like two or three years ago that's a long time i mean for her to come down now and say it now i think that's pretty tangible i mean it's not like oh somebody compare me to this person now i have to like tell everybody so that they know that i'm this and that i mean it's it takes maybe they told her two or three years ago and then she we're not just hearing about it now so but then people are like attacking her that she 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 is she has like an inflated ego and everything I'm like come on guys this lady literally spent two years keeping this comment inside and now she just said it and everybody was like oh wow she really thinks i mean and warranted i don't know her i don't but the way i see it as a from my personal point of view that's the way i say it like i know when that this girl this lady was going to get married and like the black community was like wow you know there was this pride that oh they framed the black the, the, <laughs> there's now like a black um, person marrying today for your family and you know there's that positive energy around her around the situation or situation like she's lucky she's like a real life princess a real life cinderella and what's not and you know, I was like, and, and for me too, I was, I was happy. <laughs> I mean, I was happy about it too. I mean, like, she's lucky. She's a lucky girl. Or she, she's a lucky lady. She, or she's a lucky lady or a lucky woman. But now the situation changed. And I believe it was like from them, like from her and her husband going to Oprah and giving that, what, that, um, I'm doing the interview and all the things that they said and <laughs> honestly sometimes if you want to do this thing you have to like research and make sure that you get your fact right I watch uh, quite a, a lot of videos I mean like detailing on what she on the interview and everything I mean it's a personal experience now, I, I'm going to digress a little bit. I've watched a, some videos that also talk about like her not identifying as black really because well she is very light skinned and uh, maybe she might not get as much struggle as maybe she might not get as much struggle as someone like me who is a darker version of the black would get but still we cannot discredit we cannot discredit her experiences and what she feels if she feels that she's being raised or people are acting racist toward her it's her feeling and who are my who am i or who are we to like tell her that oh you're not feeling this way like they didn't tell it treat you this way they didn't you can see when people are trying to take advantage or trying to act like a victim and from what i've seen really and with all the bullying that i saw online and everything it's like mm, maybe she is but then again she lives a public life and I guess you'll get bullied a lot if you live a public life. If you come out and say that you're feeling like this, or you do this, or you say something that doesn't get that doesn't go with the people's opinions, like, hmm, girl, what are you doing? But if you live a public life, life, of course you're gonna get all those kind of sentiments, negative sentiments from people back to the comments on mandela and all those references i think that if she feels as the comments said then why not you still cannot discredit what's awesomeness and what's uh, legitness or what kind of um, goodness it is to marry a prince to marry into the real family and to marry into wealth it's a, it's a credible thing it's not like saying like oh kudos to you or something because you know i mean at the end of the day it's about character i mean the two people must have 
seeing that they are compatible or they are of good character or they are in that wish yeah so they get married or they are they fall deeply in love and get married i mean it's pretty credible thing for so, so for something as fortunate as that to happen to a person's life and i feel that many people saw it like during i mean during their like when they announced the engagement or and everything like that many people saw that and they actually made that reference oh um you know all those slavery kind of references da, 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 like it's it gives even though it's only happening to one person it's it seems like it's a collective kind of like it's not my success but as i guess within the black community if you want to look at race standpoint or like i don't know economic standpoint and all that you might make references that way that oh it's a kind of success oh my goodness how do i write essays sometimes when i say how do i write my essays and i even do well on them because if you are going to justify this and it's like oh but you know i guess the reason why there are so much backlashes is because like the the situation is not completely the same you know um comparing her situation or making a reference of her situation with mandela's it's it's so much different that it is also the same on one hand this woman is living a quite incredible life in public space with a lot of wealth but not so much suffering that we or not so much physical suffering that we can see or we can relate to as people you know what I mean but then on the other hand you have the situation or the life of Nelson Mandela whereby like there was so much um, racism going on down in South Africa, apartheid, you know, all his personal struggles, him being in prison just for standing up for what is true or what he believes in, standing up for freedom. And that and that has like a lot of emotional, physical abuses that happen that I think this discord happened because it is two different and distinct situations that could be linked together and for someone to link that together with someone that has known their research do credible works to find similarities but also find like a distinctive difference because what i got from people was that she's living a wealthy life she's like a princess she's this she's that and all that but then on the other hand you have um nelson mandela whereby he had to go through so many struggles so many physical pains he was imprisoned and all that i mean the suffering is different the kind of dilemma there is different and i guess people are not so keen to saying that her situation could be linked so in that way so when someone's be like oh you've been affiliated or you've been married to the royal family is as if and like oh she actually thinks that but person but for me if someone come and compare me to like a famous celebrity don't somebody that people see as a positive um as a positive element positive influence to the world or to an era of course people will be like oh let me jump on that i mean like oh, if somebody compare me to this amazing person but i guess people are not so keen to that i was going to watch her podcast but i got really busy so i wasn't able to watch anything about that i was like let me do this video before i cancel the topic from my list so you watch YouTube videos sometimes and you're like, damn. Damn, people can be very, very nice, like collectively. But then when people are against one person, it's like, wow, wow. But that's the reality.
like one day you are up there and people are celebrating you and the next you're not maybe people have been too nitpick and watching everything she says everything she does like every mistake the situation about her bullying her staffs and all that and i got the sentiment that she's light-skinned and for me be, <laughs> being a light-skinned person and being in an environment where like you're probably in like a caucasian environment there isn't there isn't that much physical difference for me, that's the way I see it. I mean, like, if you're so light-skinned, so, so, so light-skinned, and yeah, of course, you're biracial, but you're light-skinned in a Caucasian environment, how do you find that out? But I guess, like, media shine their light on their circle. Like, oh, this one is black because she has a biracial mother or she has a black mother. I'm like, okay, but she's so light-skinned that... If you, if I, sometimes when I think about this, I was like, I don't see any depth. She's so light skinned that she could literally be thought as as white, but she's not. And besides, this girl already has two, two children for the prince. So, and I'm like. Why so much negativity on one person? And the 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 reason for all this negativity is like, oh, she's not telling the truth in the Oprah in the Oprah's interview. Um, she was bullying her staff. She was this. Now this Mandela thing comment and she told people about it and everybody's like, oh, and everybody's on defense. Oh, like you can't compare your situation with Mandela's. Which brought me to actually the last topic. Or like my final point I don't know about you but sometimes and I've noticed and I've known and I've heard so many stories and I've seen that when women have influence on their husband like people around it might be family it might be friends it might be like anybody in that way neighbors and they started hitting on the girl or the woman or the wife. <sighs> I mean, I'm a Nigerian and sometimes you listen to so many stories of, or you heard stories of wives coming out and saying that, oh, their husband family doesn't like them or the neighbors this or the friends of the husband doesn't like them because there's that. And you'll be like, hey, they tell you these stories and you always feel like what are they talking about right but I've heard of situations whereby if the woman has influence on the husband it doesn't sit well with other people now why is that I mean for one point or the other these people are married they're in one way or the other the both individual will influence each other it happens in every situation and with every couple one person will always influence each other and sometimes the influence is equal and sometimes it's not so equal so it could play into that patriarchal system that oh women shouldn't have that much power like on the man or all those with the Meghan Markle situation, might be like, so what? Even if she has that much influence on her husband, but it's her husband, they're married. I don't even want to bring any of any examples because I am not <laughs> media outlets. I'm just a sole person trying to understand what's going on. So they both stepped down as senior royals. They moved to America and all that. And when they came out, especially in that um interview where they will talk about like what's going on inside in the royal family what's the experience was like and people be like hmm they being ungrateful and all this and all that and it's like well i don't know because sometimes i feel like all this hatefulness is coming because like she is 
she is married or still married to the prince. I mean, like, why would anyone want to hear that? We, I, I guess we can't all share the same luck. I have my own luck. Other people have, and each single soul have their own luck. So, let's be generous and let's be nice. I mean, because sometimes I feel like this lady is getting all this backlash because she is married to the prince and, I mean, she got children from him now and all this, like she has so much influence on him than anyone or many people would ever have. It's credible to just leave the two people to, I mean, like they're a couple, they are a public figure that, that people listen to, that people that people watch and people they probably like get influenced by i mean for one for me i was like after when they when they were going to get married or even after i was like oh wow there was going to be a lot of biracial couple now because when if he can do it then i can do it if she can do it then i can do it you know that's the kind of sentiment i got and i thought that it would that would go on for a while like they're going to enjoy and have a beautiful life but then who knows like we didn't know that all um like any kind of deeper struggles is going on and struggles that some people would be like ah oh, meh that's nothing compared to what i am going through and like i said like everybody experiences life differently and we all have different kind of luck and we all react differently and i guess like some people are patient and some people are not so patient about what people throw at them i mean i know that there are, i have my own limitations so if people push you to the wall then i mean like where else are you gonna go where else are you gonna go except to push back or you're just going to be stomped on the wall and that's not so fun so with that being said now let's get back to the influence i mean like may god continue to bless us women and continue to guide us you know and i'm not relating this to like any family or anything i've heard a lot of stories about like women coming out at all say that um their husband's relatives doesn't like them or something and all that thing like that and sometimes you know there are some truth to these stories and sometimes there are not there are not but you know from the society that i'm in anyway you listen to so many stories like this and you're like wow how do women do this like you can barely survive in your in your husband's home you know you get the six sister-in-law coming at you you get the mother-in-law coming at you maybe like about six seven ten years ago like there's so many <laughs> there's so many uh, comments like oh <laughs> it's so bad uh, there's so many women that be like oh i i do i can't get along with my mother-in-law or with my sister-in-law they are this they are that they are this and why is that? And you know, as a woman myself, I feel like, huh, I, God, I don't want to have this kind of situation. I don't want to experience this kind of situation where you feel like you can't breathe or where you feel like, uh, you know, you have to compete. Where they see that, oh, maybe you're trying, you're asking for too much or maybe you're, you feel like they see you as like you're doing buga, like you're doing like you, like you know it all, like you want it all i've heard like so many lectures that be like oh my goodness why aren't people nice to brides yeah to wives and to new mothers like that like why why so much competitions on this area of life especially with like brides and in law within that two people or two group it's like you're either friends or your enemies it's like that, it's the two options. Like most stories I've heard, it's like, oh, enemies. It's like, we can't get along. There's no way we can get along, which is actually quite sad. And as a Nigerian that come from Nigeria and whereby you listen to, when you hear so many stories like this, like, come on, be nice to the newcomer. The bride will feel like one day I'm in my 
father's house than the next one. I mean, stranger's house where like maybe they don't like you or they don't want you or you're too much or you're too brilliant or too whatever, I don't know. So what happens when a woman has so much influence on her husband? What happened? You've seen successful couples and they are supportive of each other, they influence each other, it's not one-sided. So what I see now is that, oh, so many people are trying to discredit her or discredit her personality, saying that, oh, she lies, she and her husband are lying, they just want attention. And I guess so many people just say that, oh, these two people are ungrateful with so much things that have been presented to them that life, that life has given them. I mean, they got luck, they, they have wealth, they married, and you know, all those things. But, I mean, who doesn't have a little bit of luck in their life? In their lives. We all have luck or experience luck in different ways. And you know, I'm at that point in my life whereby I see people that even, no matter how fortunate they are, I don't want their situation to bother me. I don't want to be saddened by it. I don't want to be like, oh, I don't have this, I don't have that. Now I'm bitter or something like that. You know, you got wealth, you got money, you got fame, you got any, all those things. It's your luck, like really, it's your luck. Who asked me not to have that kind of luck? Nobody asked you. <laughs> Nobody tell you not to have that kind of luck. I mean, like you're healthy, that's your luck. Or your fate, like, or you just got lucky. Whatever the case is, I'm that point that I don't want to be. I don't want to be influence in a bad way that oh now i become certain because i don't have this and these people have this or whether i think or whether we think that they are being ungrateful or not like honestly it's really not my place to judge like i said i don't know them personally so and i'm pretty sure we've all experienced that like we've never known someone and so many things have gone on about them like they are bad people they this they that but you meet this people one day or you meet that person one day and like and they are the most nicest person and they're the most like humble persons like oh where did i <laughs> where had i got it wrong so you don't want to jump in a bad wagon when it like really that's really not the situation at all if i have ever learned anything at all in this life like from society it's not to jump on a bandwagon don't be like a lousy bystander and really really look deep and research and honestly and regardless of the situation always have kind things to say or keep quiet and that's the way i say this and um, with the influence, like honestly, people will all, would always influence each other. And whether that sits well with people or not, I guess that's with the people's business, really. What I see here is influence. Like, you know, have the media that have influence to influence how we perceive people, how we perceive one, one single person. And it just so happened to be like, if media reinforce that this person is mean this person is bad people begin to subscribe to that kind of thoughts and then the general view of it and again the elaborate like be kind in your words and with the death of the queen i guess the focus is now shifted away from them and to someone else be in tune like you can you can say that you are looking or you're watching for drama and all this and i'm like mm, i'm not only going to say this and then i'll go back into my hole or into my cave yeah you can't always be subscribing to people's drama like honestly no like all this is just making a scene 
I mean, I guess when people are mean or acting irresponsibly and they get backlash for that, but when people come out and say their truth and people, and then everybody start be like, oh no, that's not right. You're being act, you've been, you're acting snobbish, you're acting selfish, and all that. It's like, hmm. But they're just talking about themselves. I mean, like, really, should have bothered you. We all learn something every day. And this is a learning phase for every one of us. But for me, I'll say that couple will always influence each other. And uh, regardless of who is doing who. Because what I, I'm saying now on the internet is like, oh, she's having so much influence on Harry. Like, you know, maybe it's him um, missing home or him going to live in America without really thinking about I don't know. Like, but really they have couple one either one influence the other or the other influence or it's equal influence but why hate on the girl if the man is also like acting on this like me nobody i don't think anybody is forcing anyone to do anything but why hate on the girl why hate on the wife why be so critical yeah why be so critical of the wife for the decision they made together or the decision of the man like really why and i've seen this a lot like even in my like, african communities like the woman always be like even if the woman has nothing to do with anything she will still get some backlash when women influence their men why so much hate they are couple of course they're going to influence each other either one way or the other and one will probably or not influence the other more or less but why i don't think there should be any kind of force around this that who oh, she's this kind of person that's not it at all why Hmm? Tell me, too much hate going towards the girl for what? I haven't listened to any of her podcasts. I only binge watch Suits and that's because my sister forced me to and I don't even know. Like, I just, I, I didn't watch it really. Like, yeah, I just know that she was a lawyer in the show, I think, or something like that. I didn't even know about her until like the engagement girl. I was like, oh, who is this? Like, that's really how I came to know about who Megan Marco is. So it's I don't think it's really that deep. And even if it's that deep, like why is she getting so much hate? Or what? Yep, that's all I want to share this time around. And the most important point is that why? Why dislike or why hate the girl? Why hate the girl? Because of her luck or because she just so happened to have so much influence on her husband anyways they're both an adult they both can do what they want as it's pleased them there is nothing to fuss about like let's all take a chill pill and relax and cool down i don't want to go on the internet and start like seeing all like another person kind of bashing her or like you read the comments like oh this and it's like oh my goodness what has this woman done again it's like oh she did this she said that and i guess like sometimes you, when i when you like you listen to her you can you can see that she's trying to appeal to the public like she is a person an emotional person and not a narcissist as people are seem to be turning or to be instigating really which is not nice this is another woman another girl another wife in an environment where she really needs to fight for her spot to fight for her stance her position and everything and it seems like the public is kind of seeing her as this bad 
person and I'm like what about the husband like why isn't the husband getting getting any backlash like why is it only her like I, I feel like I'm watching another Nigerian movie like another Nollywood movie where the women come into the house and all hell break loose like damn damn do you guys watch Nigerian movies I see this and I'm like oh my god this sounds like a Nigerian movie <laughs> oh my goodness and that's the kind of perspective I'm taking from it and when I listen to like this news and like read this comments and I'm like what is going on like not even a single person is like trying to appeal or trying to like not criticize her so what she might have influence on her husband but don't forget that there are so many histories on like the why the media is such a problem like as in like with harry in the husband and you know with your mom and all that let's not forget about that she's trying to i guess she's, he's just trying to protect his wife his family and that's all that is and this to it and nothing else and so we shouldn't be barging or the and I get I mean I'm not doing this I'm not like criticizing or like saying that oh she's an artist and anything like that I guess like people that are very social savvy you know psychologists they can and look into this thing and find out like the truth I don't know all I am seeing here is that an individual who is trying to make it in this world that is out of control. There's so many things going on around, like the Pakistani flood, like I saw it. There's so many homes that just fell like that. I cannot believe this. I can't believe this. You know, you kind of have to think that. So I'm in a place where, like I'm struggling with in life too, but, but I have a home. I know there's no natural disaster happening. And just somewhere, something like this is happening. In another space, a woman is have, dealing with her own trouble and uh, some people are dying and everything. It's like, there's so much going on. And I think it's, it's still very credible to remind ourselves to be really kind. And that is my topic. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. It is very hard.